Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to teach you how you can use the grid view properly, what you can do here, what you can achieve here and how you can also add a column, so literally everything. So in a moment when you're going to enter a grid view, this is like the basic, the default one that you're going to have for, uh, <clears throat> for your project. Now you have also option to choose a different views here, so maybe your basic one is going to be the form view or uh, let's say a Kanban view, but let's say you want to have only grid view here. So what we can add here and how it works. Pre default, you're going to have a nodes, a signy status or some that you created when you are creating your account. So I'm going to simply add a first task here. So let's say this is the YouTube channel business work project. So I'm going to add a task YouTube video. And then I'm going to add the YouTube marketing video. So we have the two tasks here and now what I can do, I can simply switch here between uh, if it's going to be collaborative view, locked view, I can rename the view, I can edit the view description, I can even duplicate it. So also what you can do is you can simply hide the fields. So let's say that you don't want to have notes and a signee. You can easily hide them, you can filter them. So let's say you want to have filter based only of a signee yourself. Then you have option to group it. This is really important guys. Group, this is something that you will probably use in the future a lot. So when next to the filter, you're gonna find group, click on it and you can choose status. It's going to base group by, uh, by length, let's say single choices that you're gonna choose here. So let's say that you're gonna have a single select field and what you can do under status, we have to do in progress done. Now, when I'm going to group it by status, I can see that they are all empty, but let's say that I'm going to have status in progress and then I'm going to have status uh, to do, automatically it changed. So in the moment, let's say I'm going to have a YouTube business video and I'm going to change the status to done. It's going to automatically create me uh, like, let's say uh, emptiness between all of these three, four parts that we have here. And right now it's much easier to understand and read because I see those which are in in progress done or to do. So this is something you can definitely do. You can sort it out by names, notes, assignee. You can change even the colors, select field. And you can have a color here. So conditions and when something happens, you can add a condition It's going to change the color. So when we have this, we can also change the row height if it's going to be medium, tall, extra tall. So that's something you can do or you can simply share the view. You can create a form view or create a shareable grid view link. Now, another thing what I wanted to show you, I'm going to disable this, is how we can add the subtasks in your task. And then we are going for tasking. So here I am going to unhidden the notes field. You want to click on it. Then you can customize field type, choose enable rich text formatting and change the notes to subtask. Maybe I'm going pretty fast, but I'll try to go slow now. So you would just click on it, edit the field. Then you choose an enable rich text formatting. And then you're going to choose the subtask. Then when you have it, you're going to click save. And here you're going to open it, click here and you're going to find this button. You want to click on the button and choose checklist. And here I can simply add a YouTube thumbnail, YouTube description, right? And this is something that I can do. Then I'm going to choose on the top, select road hide medium. And here we have the subtasks. When I'm going to expand a record, uh, what you can do in a task, this is really important. So I can click here on a record. <clears throat> in a record, you can simply add a new fields to the table, edit the subtasks, assignee, status. So you can edit all of these as much as you want. On the right side, you would find that you can uh, change the records here 
and you can also add a comment you can even hide it that you would have only the fields so in your task in your record you would find everything you have in your field right here that you can edit you can of course click on three dots you can send the record with email and then you can copy the record URL you can send it to someone or you can hide the comments and revision So that's something you can do. And when you have it, you can easily press X here and you're good to go. So this is how you can manage the tasks. Then what I can do, I can simply click plus next to the status and I can uh, add various columns that you can see here. I can add duration, create a field, how long it's going to actually take me. So it can be 125, see, and I can have 125 hours. Then what I can do, I can simply add also the email number currency. So I can simply click here on currency and I can have expenses. You can choose the currency symbol and precision. Then I can create a field here and let's say I'm going to have $500, right? So this is pretty much it, how you can use it. And this is what you can do here. Then the next thing what I can do is to again click plus here and add a duration. Or formula or roll up. Or create a time. So we're going to find a barcode even. Or we can change that and edit it to, let's say, a rating. So that's something you can do and that's how it works. So this is pretty much it, how you can use the grid view. Let me down below in the comments if you'd like to know more about it. You can add also extensions here. So thank you, have a great day and goodbye. See ya guys.